So All right, you see my screen? Yep, we got you. All righty. Uh, thanks, Drew, Justin, for putting this on. I appreciate it. Um, like uh, Coach said, my name is Nick Vitale. I'm the offensive coordinator at Catholic Memorial. Uh, I was asked to speak about one platoon offensive game prep. Um, we are not a, a true one platoon team. We do practice offense and defense separately at the same time. Uh, but we do have a handful of guys that go both ways that we call splitters. So uh, I'm going to kind of talk about how we handle those guys and how practice and, and our game prep goes for that week. Um, so first, just our pro program breakdown. Um, we have about 79 guys in our program. Something we do that uh, I don't think a lot of programs do is all four grades practice together. Um, so freshmen through seniors are practicing together. Um, for numbers reasons and scout players reasons it is one big one. Um, but we also think it's really important that our lower level kids are seeing how our older guys practice and, and what's expected at practice. Um, they're also being coached by our varsity position coaches, which we, which we think is big. Um, and then, like I said, there are, there are scout team players as well. Um, so like I said, our splitters are guys that go, go both ways. Um, this past year, we had eight guys. Um, you can see the guys that are, uh, are in gold were our Monday, Wednesday group. And then our uh, group that's in blue was our Tuesday group. Um, we obviously uh, picked these guys uh, for a reason. Uh, and there's a handful of reasons. Uh, one, obviously, just physically, they can do it. Uh, there's guy, there are a couple of these guys are guys that just have to be on the field at all times. Um, second, and I think which is really important, is mentally, can they handle it? Um, like I said, this, this blue group, uh, practices once with us on offense during the week. Are they going to be able to handle um, game prep and be ready to play and, and be successful on Friday nights for us? And that's really important. Uh, the other thing you can see, um, they go hand in hand with position. So um, it's not like one day we have four receivers and the next day we'll, we only have one. We split it up so that um, we can still run our offense and, and get stuff done with guys that um, will give us varsity reps and can play for us on Friday nights. Now, not all these guys are starters. Um, there's a handful of these guys that didn't start either way, but were twos for us. Uh, um, and that was our group for this past year. And again, there's about eight of them. Uh, so now Mondays, our Mondays and Tuesdays are very, very similar. Um, because like I said, we have a group that practices with us on offense on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then the other group is on Tuesdays. Um, the other thing I'm going to add is because our lower level does practice with uh, the varsity level, they are out practicing on their own during our during the varsity meeting time. So they're getting uh, about half hour, 40 minutes to practice and prepare for their game. During our meeting time, uh, it's just the varsity guys. Uh, Bill has the defense. I have the offense. Uh, so in our Monday meeting, we're talking about our personnel, uh, the fronts we're going to face, blitzes, coverages, and then our pass game uh, for that week. Something that I think is really important and I believe helps our guys, especially our splitters, a lot is I give all of this stuff to our guys in packets. So they're getting packets each week of our opponent, of their personnel, of their fronts, their blitzes, coverages, and pass game. Because again, that group that is only with us on Tuesdays isn't there for those meetings on Monday, Monday, Wednesday. So if they need to look back at what we're doing or what we're going to face, they can do that um, at home on their own time. And that kind of goes with picking the the guys that can handle being splitters and are going to do that extra work uh, outside of actual practice to get better. Um, and all this stuff is open field, uh, 20 to 20, uh, same thing for film. Uh, we go out to practice. We have 21 period practice. Here's uh, an example of a practice schedule uh, for a Monday. Um, you can see uh, the start of our practices are going to be the same every single day, Monday through Wednesday. Uh, so we're with uh, Team Flex. We have specials that we do our pat and go RPO. Uh, and then we split up. We then go one-on-ones and insides against our defense starters. Uh, and then we're on our own the rest of the way. Um, and again, the guys that are on offense for Monday are just offense. They're not doing any defensive work on Monday. Um, so that's our Monday practice. We then go to Tuesday. Uh, like I said, lower level is outside practicing during our varsity meeting time. Um, and now this meeting is going to be very, very similar to Monday's meeting. Uh, because we need those guys that were not with us on Monday uh, up to speed with what we're doing and what's expected. Um, and it also gives those guys that are not splitters a review and kind of be, uh, uh, have a good understanding, a better understanding of what we're going to see. So again, we're doing the same thing. We're going to talk through those packets, personnel, fronts, blitzes, coverages, 
and then our pass game for that week. And then we're going to watch the same film that we watched on Monday. Um, practice again is very similar. The, the only difference is the end of practice. So start is the same. We still do our one-on-one -on -one inside against our defense. Uh, the only difference now is on Tuesdays for the last 20 minutes of practice, all of our splitters go to defense. Okay. So during that time, we lose those guys that were with us on offense for practice to the defense. So we're not able to do team or anything like that during that time. So our guys that are just offensive players get four periods of just straight indie where we're there, where they're with their position group and with their position coach and, and able to work on that stuff. Um, and I think this has been helpful because those lower level guys are still with our varsity guys getting work in. Um, and our guys that start on offense and only play offense can work on what they need to work on. Uh, it's really more of a player led indie than it is coaches because they're the ones letting us know what they feel like they need to work on for that day. Uh, moving forward to Wednesday. So we're back to that group that was with us on Monday. Um, again, lower levels outside practicing. Our Wednesdays now are strictly third down, red zones, draws, screens, end of game, things like that. Um, so just like I do on Mondays and Tuesdays with the packets, um, I do the same thing with third down and red zone. So they're going to get all of our third down and red zone pass game in a packet. So we're going to talk through those. Uh, another thing that I do that we're going to talk about uh, in a little bit is I also give them a test. So uh, they're given their tests on Wednesday at meetings and then um, we go over them on Thursday. And then our film uh, is strictly just going to be third down and red zone for that day. Practice uh, now is a little bit different on Wednesday, like I said. So we're still gonna have the start of practice being the same, but now we're working on our draw screen, third down, red zone. Um, on Tuesdays where all the splitters went on defense, Wednesday's our day. So all the splitters are with us. You can see from period 16 to 19 are on offense. So during that time, we are reviewing the third downs, the red zone, all those things that I feel like we need to go through. Um, we're going through our top 10 and anything that I just feel like we need to go through or, or they need to work on or that they might have missed um, because that with them only being with us for one day. And then we go two minute. For our two minute, we go two groups. So the first group will be that Monday, Wednesday group. And then the second group will be the Tuesday group. So it's not just starters and twos. Um, it's, it is two separate groups that is a little bit more equivalent in skill so that we can still get a second group and, and get more guys going in there. Um, Thursdays. Uh, so like I said, I give our guys tests. Um, we come in on Thursday mornings uh, at about 6.45 and we go through uh, the test. So we have the O-line in, in one room, and then we have our skill in the other room. I, I start with the skill. Uh, when I'm with the skill, the O-line is, is watching film. So one of the seniors is, on, um, is running the film. And then we just go through our test. I answer any questions. We go through our top 10 again. Um, when I first started this, I thought it was going to be an issue. I thought kids were going to complain about having to come into school early. Um, and this uh, has been really big and important for our guys, especially our two ways. And, uh, after talking with them the last couple of years, they really enjoy it and really think it's important. Um, it's not like, a, oh, you got four wrong, so you aren't going to play this much. It's just they're going to review it. They know that they're taking their test at home. And if they don't know a question, they have the packets that I gave them from this past week um, that they can look at and answer. Um, so at least they're looking at it and have an idea of what's going on. Uh, once I'm done with this skill, going to the O-line uh, room and, and we go over the O-line test. Um, we then have just a walkthrough, quick hour walkthrough Thursday after school. Bill goes for about 50 minutes. I get about the last 10. We just go through our top 10 tricks, end the game, take a safety victory, and, and then we're done. Um, and that's all I got. Um, that's how we kind of handle our splitters. We've found that it's been successful for us. Um, and just with what our numbers are, we need those guys on the field. Uh, here's my contact information. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, that's all I got. Good stuff, Coach. So you do have a, a question here from uh, Weiski wants to know, do you ever have uh, any of the splitters take some periods with both O and D in the same day, or they always stay on one side for the full day? Um, they're always just strictly with their group, uh, except that Tuesday where all the splitters go to defense and or that Wednesday where they're all with the offense for the four periods. But besides those specific four periods on Tuesday and Wednesday, they are not with um, – both groups they're just with one or the other uh and then uh what's the average number of splitters you you guys usually have year to year 
Uh, this past year uh, on that list, we had eight. We really started with nine at the start of the year, but a kid got hurt, so he wasn't. Uh, the year before was a little bit less. Uh, it just kind of depends, like I said, on who the kids are. Uh, this past year, we were just a really talented group and, and a group of guys that could handle it and truthfully just had to be out on the field. Um, this next year is probably going to be a little bit more just because our team's going to be a little bit smaller um, going forward. But it just depends year to year and, and who the kids are that we have. All right. Uh, and then you have your younger level guys, like your freshmen. Do they play both sides of the ball? Yeah. So, like, on during our varsity meeting times, like I said, they're outside practicing. Um, I honestly don't even know specifically what they're doing, but they're just running through offense and defense. All those guys have to play uh, specials because our freshmen or play both ways. Our freshman team is going to have 20 to 25 kids. JV about the same. So, yeah, uh, everyone in the lower level is, is going both ways. Um, and then let's see one about um, do you if you have younger guys that uh, well first off when do you guys play your JV games you Thursdays so in the past our freshman JV were Thursdays now going forward now that we're in a new league our JVs are Mondays so we're still kind of working through that and talking through how we're going to do that um, it's probably kind of what we're talking is, that is we're just going to have to um, be scout for each other so defense will come scout the offense and that'll obviously be a little bit more of a true one platoon practice Okay, and then along with that, he was asking, so with your kids who did play on Thursdays, did they still get in on specials and stuff on Friday nights then too? Yeah, so uh, every sophomore, junior, and senior suits up for varsity for us. Um, and then we have that handful of freshmen that, that are solid players that will suit up. Uh, we do have some JV players that will go, uh, that will play specials for us. Um, but not every kid, obviously, but a handful of kids will. So then if those kids are playing on Thursdays, do you still have them come to practice too before their game? Or they just uh, no. Yeah, they're not there with us. It's just it's strictly just juniors and seniors at our walkthrough just because it's three to four. So our kids are either warming up or they're on the bus going out. So they do miss that. Um, but if you know Bill, Bill gets his kids pretty prepared. We got plenty of walkthroughs on Friday for our defense and special teams. So they're usually ready to go. Nice. Um, and then it uh, looks like – you got in and answered the ones about the lifting stuff. So I think that's it. So sweet. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.